Psalm 41 Happy is one who is considerate of the poor. The Lord will save him in a day of adversity. The Lord will keep him and preserve him. He will be blessed in the land. You will not give him over to the desire of his enemies. The Lord will sustain him on his sick bed. You will heal him on the bed where he lies. I said, Lord, be gracious to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak maliciously about me. When will he die and be forgotten? When one of them comes to visit, he speaks deceitfully. He stores up evil in his heart. He goes out and talks. All who hate me whisper together about me. They plan to harm me. Something awful has overwhelmed him, and he won't rise up again from where he lies. Even my friend in whom I trusted, one who ate my bread, has raised his heel against me. But you, Lord, be gracious to me and raise me up. Then I will repay them. By this I know that you delight in me. My enemy does not shout in triumph over me. You supported me because of my integrity and set me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. Psalm 42. <clears throat> Excuse me. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so I long for you, God. I thirst for God, the living God. When can I come and appear before God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long people say to me, Where is your God? I remember this as I pour out my heart, how I walked with many, leading the festive procession to the house of God, with joyful and thankful shouts. Why, my soul, are you so dejected? Why are you in such turmoil? Put your hope in God, for I will, st- I will still praise him, my Savior and my God. I am deeply depressed, therefore I remember you from the land of, of Jordan and the peaks of Hermon from Mount Mazar. Deep calls to deep in the roar of your waterfalls. All your breakers and your billows have swept over me. The Lord will send his faithful love by day. His song will be with me in the night. A prayer to the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I go about in sorrow because of the enemy's oppression? My adversaries taunt me. As if crushing my bones, while all day long they say to me, Where is your God? Why, my soul, are you so dejected? Why are you in such turmoil? Put your hope in God, for I will still praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 43 Vindicate me, God, and champion my cause against an unfaithful nation. Rescue me from the deceitful and unjust person. For you are the God of my refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about in sorrow because of the enemy's oppression? Send your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Then I will come to the altar of God, to God, my greatest joy. I will praise you with the liar, God, my God. Why, my soul, are you so dejected? Why are you in such turmoil? Put your hope in God, for I will still praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 44 God, we have heard with our ears. Our ancestors have told us the work you accomplished in their days, in days long ago. In order to plant them, you displaced the nations by your hand. In order to settle them, you brought disaster on the peoples. For they did not take the land by their sword. Their arm did not bring them victory. But by your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, because you are favorable toward them. You are my king, my God, who ordains victories for Jacob. Through you, we drive back our foes. Through your name, we trample our enemies. For I do not trust in my bow, and my sword does not bring me victory. But you give us victory over our foes and let those who hate us be disgraced. 
We boast in God all day long. We will praise your name forever. But you have rejected and humiliated us. You do not march out with our armies. You make us retreat from the foe, and those who hate us have taken plunder for themselves. You hand us over to be eaten like sheep and scatter us among the nations. You sell your people for nothing. You make no profit from selling them. You make us an object of reproach to our neighbors, a source of mockery and ridicule to those around us. You make us a joke among the nations, a laughing stock among the peoples. My disgrace is before me all day long, and shame has covered my face. Because of the taunts of the scorner and rivaler, because of the enemy and avenger. All this has happened to us, but we have not forgotten you or betrayed your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, our steps have not strayed from your path. But you have crushed us in a, in a haunt of jackals and have covered us with deepest darkness. If we had forgotten the name of our God and spread out our hands to a foreign God, wouldn't God have found this out since he knows the secrets of the heart? Because of you, we are being put to death all day long. We are counted as sheep to be slaughtered. Wake up, Lord. Why are you sleeping? Get up. Don't reject us forever. Why do you hide and forget our affliction and oppression? For we have sunk down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. Rise up. Help us. Redeem us because of your faithful love. Psalm 45. My heart is moved by a noble theme as I recite my verses to the king. My tongue is the pen of a skillful writer. You are the most handsome of men. Grace flows from your lips. Therefore, God has blessed you forever. Mighty warrior, strap your sword at your side. In your majesty and splendor, in your splendor, ride triumphantly in the cause of truth, humility, and justice. May your right hand show your awe-inspiring acts. Your sharpened arrows pierce the hearts of the king's enemies. The peoples fall under you. Your throne, God, is forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of justice. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of joy more than your companions. Myrrh, aloes, and cassia perfume all your garments. From ivory palaces, harps bring you joy. Kings, daughters are among your honored women. The queen, adorned with gold from Ophir, stands at your right hand. Listen, daughter, pay attention and consider. Forget your people and your father's house, and the king will desire your beauty. Bow down to him, for he is your lord. The daughter of Tyre, the wealthy people, will seek your favor with gifts. In her chamber, the royal daughter is all glorious, her clothing embroidered with gold. In colorful garments, she is led to the king. After her, the virgins, her companions, are brought to you. They are led in with gladness and rejoicing. They enter the king's palace. Your sons will succeed your ancestors. You will make them princes throughout the land. I will cause your name to be remembered for all generations. Therefore, the peoples will praise you forever and ever. Psalm 46 God is our refuge and strength, a helper who is always found in times of trouble. Therefore, we will not be afraid, though the earth trembles and the mountains topple into the depths of the seas, though its water roars and foams and the mountains quake with its turmoil. There is a river, its streams delight the city of God, the holy dwelling place of the Most High. God is within her, she will not be toppled. God will help her when the morning dawns. Nations rage, kingdoms topple, the earth melts when he lifts his voice. The Lord of armies is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, see the works of the Lord 
who brings devastation on the earth. He makes wars cease throughout the earth. He shatters bows and cuts spears to pieces. He sets wagons ablaze. Stop your fighting and know that I am God, exalted among the nations, exalted on the earth. The Lord of armies is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with a jubilant cry. For the Lord, the Most High, is awe-inspiring, a great king over the whole earth. He subdues peoples under us and nations under our feet. He chooses... He chooses for us our inheritance, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God ascends among shouts of joy, the Lord with the sound of trumpets. Sing praise to God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. Sing a song of wisdom, for God is King of the whole earth. God reigns over the nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the peoples have assembled with the people of the People of the God of Abraham, for the leaders of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Psalm 48 The Lord is great and highly praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, rising splendidly, is the joy of the whole earth. Mount Zion, the summit of Zaphon, is the city of the great king. God is known as a stronghold in its Citadels, sorry, C I T A D E L S. Look, the kings assembled. They advanced together. They looked and froze with fear. They fled in terror. Trembling seized them there, agony like that of a woman in labor, as you wrecked the ships of Tar- Tar- Tarshish with the east wind. Just as we heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of Armies, in the city of our God. God will establish us forever. God, within your temple, we can contemplate your faithful love. Like your name, God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with justice. Mount Zion is glad. Judah's villages rejoice because of your judgments. Go around Zion, encircle it, count its towers. Note its ramparts tour our Ketadels, so that you can tell a future generation, this God, our God forever and ever, he will always lead us. Psalm 49. Hear this, all you peoples, listen, all who inhabit the world, both low and high, rich and poor, together. My mouth speaks wisdom, my heart's meditation brings understanding. I turn my ear to a proverb, I explain my riddle with the liar. Why should I fear in times of trouble? The iniquity of my foes surrounds me. They trust in their wealth and boast with their abundant riches. Yet these cannot redeem a person or pay his ransom to God. Since the price of redeeming him is too costly, one should forever stop trying, so that he may live forever and not see the pit. For one can see that the wise die, the foolish and stupid also pass away. Then they leave their wealth to others. The graves are their permanent homes, their dwellings from generation to generation, though they have named estates after themselves. But despite his assets, mankind will not last. He is like the animals that perish. This is the way of those who are arrogant and of their followers who approve of their words. Like sheep, they are headed for Sheol, death, will shepherd them, the upright will rule over them in the morning, and their form will waste away in Sheol, far from their lofty abode. But God will redeem me from the power of Sheol, for he will take me. Do not be afraid when a person gets rich, when the wealth of his house increases. For when he dies, he will take nothing at all, his wealth will not follow him down. Though he blesses himself during his lifetime, and you are a Acclaimed when you do well for yourself. He will go to the generation of his fathers. They will never see the light. Mankind with his assets but without understanding is like the animals that perish. Psalm 50 
The mighty one, God, the Lord speaks. He summons the earth from the rising of the sun to its setting. From Zion, the perfection of beauty, God appears in radiance. Our God is coming. He will not be silent. Devouring fire precedes him, and a storm rages around him. On high he summons heaven and earth in order to judge his people. Gather my faithful ones to me, those who made a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens proclaim his righteousness, for God is the judge. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, your God. I do not rebuke you for your sacrifices or for your burnt offerings, which are continually before me. I will not take a bull from your household or male goats from your pins. For every animal of the forest is mine, the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird of the mountains and the creatures of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world and everything in it is mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice a thanks offering to God and pay your vows to the Most High. Call on me in a day of trouble. I will rescue you and you will honor me. But God says to the wicked, What right do you have to recite my statutes and to take my covenant on your lips? You hate instruction and fling your words behind you. When you see a thief, you make friends with him and you associate with adulterers. You unleash your mouth with evil and harness your tongue with deceit. You sit maligning your brother, slandering your mother's son. You have done these things and I kept silent. You thought I was like you, but I will rebuke you and lay out the case before you. Understand this, you who forget God. Or I will tear you apart, and there will be no one to rescue you. Whoever sacrifices a thank offering honors me, and whoever orders his conduct, I will show him the salvation of God. 